guys, here we are, MMA UK News, Stoomboy as always, MMA UK BJJ show. So, talking about MMA tonight. Uh, so, before we go into that, quick word about our sponsors. So, Simplified Debt. Uh, Simplified Debt are a company that anybody's looking for any kind of help or advice when it comes to debt, then definitely hit them up. We'll put the number and the website across the bottom of the screen. They do offer a friendly, free, confidential service. So, yeah, anybody's struggling then I say feel free, give them a call. Just quote either the MMA UK BJJ show or the Scottish MMA Awards. Uh, so as I say, we're going to be talking about MMA. So obviously, uh, when I heard this boy was going to be fighting, then I had to speak to him. I definitely had to speak to him. He's definitely one of my favourite people to watch. Um, I'm not supposed to be biased in any way. But when it comes to the Clancy's, as I said, I've got a soft spot in my heart for them. I think what they're doing is absolutely amazing. Um, the whole family are competitive. Do you know what I mean? Right down to we Saraya, I believe we Saraya were, was at a dance competition. They're obviously very, very competitive as well. So, um, so yeah, Stephen Clancy uh, of higher level uh, MMA is going to be at BMF MMA 5 this weekend, so it's going to be his amateur debut. Now, Stephen, as I said, um, I've known Stephen, I've been watching him for a while now, obviously through jiu-jitsu, um, and he went over to Canada, won the World <coughs> Muay Thai Championships yep. as well, the Youth Muay Thai Championships, and yeah, he is on track to be hitting the top for sure, as he's got a great family behind him, a uh, great team at higher level as well, so yeah, we're buzzing for Saturday night, Stephen. Ecstatic, mate. I, honestly, I just there's it's like those nerves, and then there's just like really, really good nerves, and it's I'm just full of excitement. I just can't wait to get in there and put on a show. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, nerves. I mean, you're quite you're very confident. See, for your age, sixteen year old. I mean, see when I see you in the gym. Obviously, when you're training in the gym, or even when you go to jujitsu comps, or when you went out to Canada and stuff like that, you came in very, very confident, and that puts a lot of people off your opponents because they see you and they're going to be nervous and they see you strolling in the door, just head up, chest out, shoulders high. And you don't look nervous. You do not look nervous at all. No, it's just, uh, it's exactly what you said. I'm like really, really confident person and I've been doing this for so long and training, like in the gym, I'm training with such high level, like athletes and my teammates are class. So I know I've done enough. So yeah. when I've got there, it's, it's, it's easy. Yeah. I said, I put a post up as well. I said, you you were literally born to do this. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I said, uh, I talk to your dad regularly and your dad, do you know what I mean, tells me about obviously your plans and because obviously your dad's got big plans for every one of you. Um, and your dad, the one thing he said is before you were even born, um, when you were in your mum's belly, your dad knew this is where you were going to be. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I was always just born to fight. I don't like, <laughs> even when I was like a kid and I was like training and not fighting, I was like constant, like fighting. Uh, even if I wasn't fighting inside a cage, I was fighting at school. Uh, I've just, it's just, I've always been about it. Yeah, yeah. So. And I see it must, it must be good as well. Obviously, you talk about higher level, not just higher level, but obviously your brothers uh, out there doing their thing. Your dad obviously was out there doing his thing as well. So to be around it, from such an early age and to grow up within that martial arts community um, must have kind of helped as well, certainly with your your own development. Definitely. Being around everything and dealing with, like, Sean, my big brother, when he's, like, fighting and stuff like that, it's, it's good to have. And it's, like, even when I'm in the house and I'm dealing with, like, nerves and stuff like that, I can just sit. I'm sitting at, like, my breakfast table and I can talk to my brother about it. And it's so easy to get past them hurdles when you've got family members that are that have been through it so many times yeah yeah how do you juggle because obviously again I me mean, you're, you're at school obviously school yep. you're doing exams at the moment or exams yeah, coming yeah. up yeah yeah i'll get so, hires, hires yeah. This year. so you've got the, obviously exams coming up and obviously training for this as well and i mean it's not one thing about steven that you got to you got to know is even if there's not a fight camp Stephen's in the gym, right? So he's not he's not one of these guys where, oh yeah, I'll go in a couple of days a week and then suddenly there's a fight camp, then I need to go in three, four, five, six times a week. Stephen is literally in the gym most of the time, as I said. Uh, and 
So, but how do you juggle? How do you juggle with obviously your studies and your training? Because again, so, you've got wrestling, jujitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai, yeah. you're doing everything. Yeah. Everything. So my schools actually gave me a staggered uh, timetable. So nice. it allowed me to train and like, so I, I only do, I'm doing three hires at school this year. Um, and that's English, higher English, higher graphic communication and higher PE. So every, like I get to split them days up and I'm only going in for certain classes and I can be in training like morning sessions and then go to school. And then come back up to the gym for the night sessions and just training like a, a trooper man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That must be good as well, because obviously the higher PE, because I know that obviously Faith, um, she does dance, she does jujitsu and stuff like that. And they said that you can use what you've done outside, you know, whether it be dancing or whether it be jujitsu, and she could use it towards kind of our schools and stuff like that. So, so you coming in as a world youth Muay Thai champion, uh, jiu jitsu, multiple jiu jitsu champion, and obviously, here we go heading into amateur MMA. That must go good for the schools at the end of the year, yeah. It really does it. Um, right, last year for my national 5P, I used I think what did I use? I used my grappling, and I got yeah. like 30 out of 30. And it, it so I'm going into like my, my PE exam with a B already, so it, yeah. it helps, it really yeah. helps. And then if you go dust this boy on Saturday and come back with an A+. Yep, that's right. Fair yeah, fair on this fight, I know. <laughs> nice, nice. What were you, how did the matchup come about for you? Because I know that you were itching to get out there. I mean, you've been you've been itching to get out there for a while, but how did the BMF come up for yourself? So it's been a struggle, really has been a struggle trying to get me matched um, the past however long, since Canada, I've been, even before Canada, um, I've been trying to fight MMA for, I think, about two years now. And um, we couldn't get anything. That's why we switched to Thai. I, I seen a leaflet on, and or it was my friend. My friend was like trying out for the Team Scotland, and I seen yeah. it, and I was like, you know, what, I'll I'll try this. And then I went and I won that, and then I obviously won over in Canada, which was a surprise to me. Um, but it's was just... that a surprise to you? Because we all knew you were going to go out there and come back with that world championship. No, no. I, I'll say it was a surprise, but it wasn't. I know how much I put in and take away from my life as a kid, like just to put into into training. Um, but the BMF it came about um, because I ha I was originally matched with a boy, and then I don't know what happened. There was a few things on Instagram, probably like put up posts and stuff like that, and he's seen it, and they've be they've just said they they don't want it, which is reasonable if the boy doesn't want to take it then that's fine so yeah. he's been rematched um on that show and then um i've been matched with jamie jamie falconer so uh obviously i'll take what i can get yeah so, yeah i said it makes it. no difference who's in front of you do you know what no. i mean that's the the goals you've got the goal you know what the goal is regardless of who they've got in front of you that's just as i said it's a another victim another person that's in your way so oh. It's just, I like my uh, my dad, and that's it. It's, it's just another hurdle yeah. on the path that we're taking and straight to the top. Yeah, definitely, definitely. What would you like to do then? So obviously you're going to go in this. This is going to be your main focus. So obviously go yeah. out there, get that amateur debut out of the way. What do you fancy seeing yourself doing? What would you like to be doing going forward? So after after this fight. Um, take this fight as it comes obviously that's that's my main focus now but after i've um, put myself forward for scotland for the four nations yeah yeah and then, so that's i don't know if my age group has head contact so it'll just it's, it gets experience and it gets numbers put on my record which is always something yeah. and then i was looking at going away to the world for the imaf try to get sponsored and go away to that and then Honestly, just taking everything as it comes to me. Yeah. Uh, every fight I get is, is a blessing, almost. Yeah. Well, it's not worlds. I mean, you know. I mean, me and you have spoke, spoke to your dad as well. Do you know what I mean? As soon as you decide you want to do that, then as I we'll, we'll start, or I'll start putting everything in place and then try to raise as much money to send you over there um, and as many people over with you as well. Because I know it's, it puts it something like two or three grand per person. So it was... Oh, uh, yeah. It's just really expensive, man. Honestly, yeah. it's, um, it's hard. So we'll definitely, we'll definitely get you over. Um, what about the 
Sean. Sean coming up end of the month. Pro debut. Yep. Um, again, Sean's looking awesome as well. Oh, he's an absolute animal, man. Honestly, it's he's crazy. Just watching him in the gym, he's just having a feel like everything he's doing. He's so good, and he's like, it's, it's it's really good to have him as my big brother. Like, even like yeah. he takes me to training back and forth, like every day, because he's driving now. So, like, That's I'm just, right, yeah. him, just just having him around and like. I thought it's just classy. Honestly, so good to like look up to. She's a as a role model. He's a really, yeah. really good role model. A good big brother, I know. What was it you said to him when he did that jump in the gym? Because it looked like you said something to him. See when he jumped up and touched the ball. Um, what was it like eleven feet in the air or whatever it was? And then I like you. You said something to him. Um, I, I just looked to him because we n- we never compliment each other. See, he's like brothers. That's like yeah. I never give him a compliment. We. We only argue or have a civil conversations quite rare. So I looked at him and I was like, that was quite impressive, mate. I was like, that, that was quite impressive. <laughs> so, uh, that's what I said. Because that, that disco ball was, that's high. That was yeah. really high. He's an absolute freak of nature. But then, I'm not surprised because, again, I was looking at some of your dad's videos and your dad has been doing that again f- we use jumping on the couch or jumping on a unit or jumping on something, do you know what I mean? So when when we were uh, like really wee guys, like I'm talking, I think I was like maybe six, six or seven, and they'd have us doing like plyometrics and this was like this is like quite advanced training. Like this is only getting discovered now and my dad knew about it back then. It's like yeah. it's like explosive explosive stuff. And it was like jumping over like jumping over things like I don't know, it was just it's cool and it's, it really helps like now that stuff really does carry over so that's probably why Sean's so explosive man yeah yeah listen that's why you all are man I mean you see every one of you are going through it and uh, and it's been brilliant and even back then when you were a kid when when you were doing stuff like that it was fun right yeah. whereas obviously now it's training do you know what I mean but back then as a kid and just just being focused and doing that it was fun back then, and you all looked like you were enjoying it, every single one of you. Yeah, yeah, we were. Liz, I, I put a video off on my Instagram on my story not that long ago, and it was me and uh, my dad rolling. And it was yeah. like, it, it, was, it was actually really funny. It was yeah. like, oh, and it was just, it, it just takes me back, because that's like, I, I think I was like six or seven, and that was me learning, like my first arm, arm bar, my first everything. This guy's cool. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you've done brilliant. I've done absolutely brilliant so far. I mean, obviously you you've got a a whole journey ahead of you still. So um, and there's going to be some amazing stuff coming from you. As I said, uh, I've been fortunate to see the jujitsu side um, firsthand. I remember I came all the way up to Edinburgh because obviously you were in the Edinburgh comp, and then it turned out you were against one of my teammates, we Zach. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but obviously we came up, and um, I mean both of you and Zach. Uh, put on a great performance. Obviously, you beat the first guy. Both of you beat him, and then obviously you won the final. So, um, but yeah, came all the way up to see you, um, and it was brilliant to see. You. Really, really good to see. You. And then obviously when you went out to Canada and you won that, so over the moon for you because I know how much you put into this. And then with this amateur debut, do you know what I mean? This is going to be the the the, the icing on the cake so far. Yeah. It's going to start the year off well. It is. It's, and I've just, I've put in so much work. It feels like I've been training since, for eight, like, forever. And this is, like, it's what I'm meant to do. So I'm just excited. And I, I'm a showman, so I'm going to put on a good show. Yes. Like, there's no doubt about that. And we could have, obviously, we've got the Scottish MMA Awards coming up at the end of the year. We've got Best uh, Breakthrough Amateur. We've got Best Amateur, Best Breakthrough Pro. Um and best pro, so we can have potentially you and Sean coming up, best breakthrough amateur and best breakthrough pro. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, that'd be good, man. It'd be good. The Clancy Army, the Clancy Army. So, uh, so Stephen, final thing then. Obviously, again, I mean, you train with a lot of amazing people, uh, obviously at a higher level and at home as well. Um, but anybody in particular you want to shout out, friends, family members. Teammates, sponsors, anything like that. I would start with uh, like my mum, my grands, my dad, my brother. Like they've all been like really, really on me this camp and keeping me in like in straight like shape. 
um, not letting me slip up once. And then my teammates, like, it, it's, and my coach, obviously James Dolan, he's fantastic. Such a, definitely one of the best coaches in the country, if not the best. Or in Europe, uh, he's he's class. Um, and then I've got, like, Steve Ray, Mark Ewan, Paul Craig, like, they're all spending time with me as well and giving me knowledge. And I don't think any kid, like, in Scotland or United Kingdom are getting what I'm getting at this age. Yeah. And it's... Yeah. It's, it's really like it's really important to me and anything they say i take like very very heavily yeah like everything goes goes like right in there yeah um, and then i'll like I'll, i've got a list of sponsors here <laughs> so i've got it got nice. my list. <laughs> so i say thanks to i think it's azure pool so they do like pool fixing um Thanks to Pro Life Fitness Center, they've sponsored me, and they're going to be a big part of like my weight cut and stuff like that. That's where I'll be cutting weight. Yeah. Um, I'd like to thank Martin Riley. He's got his own company. It's called Riley Steel Enforcement. So they do like steel fix and stuff like that. And a thanks to No Pretty City Clothing. So they do like a clothing clothing brand. I'll put everything below. Charlie and, McCallum's. Yeah. Clothing yeah. brand. Yeah. 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 And thanks to Enviro Clean. So I should, cleaning company and stuff but everything will get put down anyway yeah yeah you hear that sean he came prepared man he came with all the sponsors yeah what? so <laughs> i'm showing my brother up showing him up <laughs> but listen it's going to be awesome it's going to be awesome to see you go out there or at the weekend i said massive fun people always say to me stoom what you do you can't be biased and stuff like that I mean, I don't care, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, like every one of you has a, the, your dad, Sean, obviously Logan when he's out there, yourself. Um, and even we Saraya, obviously Faith, as I say, my daughter does dancing. To, to see her go out there and do her thing as well at such a young age was absolutely brilliant as well. Um, I know how much support you've got from your family and friends and obviously the people at the gym as well. And it's absolutely amazing to see. And I heard you got a big bus going down as well on Saturday. Yep. So... Yeah, we're sold, so, we're, sold, we're sold a good few tickets for this. Thing. It'll be some buzz. Nice, be some nice. But it's going to be great. It's going to be great to see you. So, so guys, there we go. Then we've got Stephen Clancy, part of that Clancy army that I've been telling everybody about. So, I was training at a higher level, as he mentioned. James Doolan, definitely one of the best coaches coming out of Europe. As I said, uh, UFC fighters, Bellator fighters, PFL. Do you know what I mean? Uh, there's probably nowhere else better to be at the moment. Um, and I see you get some awesome trainers. Anybody in and around the area or coming from further afield, definitely hit up James Doolan on a higher level and get in there and get some training. So that's going to be, uh, Stephen, this Saturday, amateur debut. Um, BMF MMA 5. Now, there is pay-per-view on this. So anybody that can't make the event on the evening, head over to the BMF facebook page it'll take you directly to their website and they do have a uh, a live link for it okay it's not obviously it's not available at the moment because obviously events not until saturday i think it kicks I can, off i can put the link on my instagram as well so i'll put yeah. that on my story or the night of the fight that that should yeah. be on my instagram story but i think it kicks off about two o'clock if i remember uh, rightly so door, doors open at two and the first fight's at three yeah yeah first fight's so at three. So there we go, guys. Watch out for Stephen's Insta. As I said, I'll post it as well. Um, but definitely do not miss this because this kid is the future. Uh, we said this about Sean. Sean's the future, but now Sean's the present. Stephen's yep. now the future. So, um, so yeah, listen, Stephen, enjoy the weekend. Um, I know you will. I know you're buzzing for it. Uh, yep. Give my love to the family. Tell them I said hi. And, yeah, listen, I'll catch up with you soon, buddy. Right, see you after, mate. Take it easy, buddy. Thank you.